Security isn't just a priority, it's a necessity for world leaders. This is an important consideration, especially when it comes to their choice of vehicles. Speaking of style, comfort, and guaranteed protection, these leaders travel in heightened confidence. Brace up as we explore the inside secrets of the U.S. president's motorcade, alongside other powerful countries. These remarkable vehicles are the best fit for the most influential leaders on the planet. Join us as we delve into 15 impressive presidential vehicles. Number 15, Prince Al-Walid's Boeing 747. When we're talking about wealth, the Saudi Arabian royal family has pretty much set the bar sky high. They've amassed an astonishing fortune, a jaw-dropping trillion dollars. While they have a whole fleet of planes that could rival mansions in grandeur, the piece de resistance is the private Boeing 747, owned by the country's leader. Prince Al-Walid snagged this private aircraft back in 2003 for a cool $485 million, which, for him, is just pocket change. When he first got hold of this plane, it didn't quite match up to his opulent standards. So he got it remodeled and refitted to mirror the luxurious palaces he's accustomed to living in. While the country's leader typically uses their airplane for official business, this one's more like a floating palace in the sky. The extravagance of the Boeing 747 includes multiple plush bedrooms, fully decked out bathrooms, a dining area fit for 14 guests, sprawling lounges, and a large chandelier that probably outshines most actual palaces. And the ultimate symbol of royalty in there is a throne room. There's an actual throne room on board the Saudi prince's Boeing 747. This airborne abode is a testament to the sheer opulence and status of the Saudi royal family. It's a statement that even in the skies, their luxury knows no bounds. From the gold trimmings to the lavish amenities, this private Boeing 747 redefines what it means to travel in royal style. Number 14, Air Force One. The United States President's Air Force One stands as one of the most iconic VIP aircraft globally. It's essentially a flying White House that has faithfully served American presidents for decades. While any plane carrying the president uses the call sign Air Force One, the current aircraft is a modified Boeing 747-200 known as the VC-25A. This aircraft is more than just a fancy ride. It's equipped with various defense systems aimed at ensuring the safety of everyone on board. These include a radar jammer and countermeasures designed to thwart heat-seeking missiles. Additionally, it boasts extensive communication facilities with cutting-edge hardware. One of its impressive features is the ability to refuel mid-flight, allowing it to remain airborne for extended periods. Air Force One isn't just about safety and function, though. It's also quite luxurious. Spanning an impressive 4,000 square feet, it houses multiple lounges, conference rooms, a hospital, and two galleys offering gourmet food. There's even a presidential suite on board. Notably, the aircraft underwent a significant renovation during Donald Trump's presidency, costing around $1.4 billion. This revamp brought about a larger and enhanced version of the jet, now measuring 200 feet in length with an interior spanning 5,000 square feet. It's larger than an NBA basketball court. In fact, it holds the distinction of being the world's longest passenger plane. Its state-of-the-art wings and engines provide it with 17% more power, enabling it to take off and land on remarkably short runways. The aircraft can also achieve speeds of up to Mach 1, making it the fastest passenger jet currently in operation. In essence, Air Force One isn't just an impressive piece of machinery, it's a symbol of utmost importance. Its capabilities, both in terms of security and luxury, are unparalleled in the world of aviation. As the primary mode of transportation for the President of the United States, its significance and technological advancements make it stand out among all other aircraft. Number 13. The Beast, codenamed Stagecoach. The Beast is an exceptional limousine belonging to the President of the United States, whoever holds that prestigious office at any given time. Let's talk about this jet black marvel, crafted and manufactured by Cadillac, setting the government back an estimated $16 million. It's a newer, improved version of the 2009 model, and it does live up to its name. First off, this vehicle is a fortress on wheels. It's not just armored, it's practically impenetrable. The exterior walls boast a thickness of 200 millimeters. The glass comes in at a whopping 130 millimeters, 
and the entire body measures a solid 5 inches thick. With a curb weight of around 9 tons, it's a huge machine, ready to safeguard the Commander-in-Chief against any potential threat. The Beast is a description of its capabilities. Military-grade armor covers most of the car, designed to withstand even the most powerful bullets in production. The doors are a remarkable 8 inches thick, weighing as much as a Boeing 747 cabin door. Nothing gets in or out without the President's approval. But there's more. The Beast's fuel tank is fortified with explosion prevention foam, capable of surviving a direct RPG hit. Its Kevlar-reinforced tires can brave projectiles and blasts without a scratch. Beyond defense, this limo boasts a secure environmental system, shielding occupants from chemical and gas attacks. There's even a steady oxygen supply and an emergency blood stash with the President's blood type on board. Now the Beast also has some offensive tricks up its sleeve. It's equipped with pump-action shotguns, tear gas launchers, night vision cameras, and even an oil slick system. In essence, the Beast is a rolling fortress of cutting-edge technology and defensive capabilities, ensuring the safety and security of the most powerful person in the country. Number 12. Queen Elizabeth's Bentley State Limousine Being the Queen comes with perks, and when it comes to wheels, Queen Elizabeth had quite the lineup since 1952. But the Bentley State Limousine stands as her ultimate ride. When Her Majesty steps out, this car steals the show. There are only two of these limos worldwide. Both were gifted to the Queen in 2002 for her 50th anniversary on the throne. The Bentley State Limousine is slightly longer than the Bentley Arnage and packs a punch with a 6.7-liter V8 engine, belting out around 400 horsepower. Now these Bentleys are built like fortresses. They are bulletproof, blastproof, and completely airtight cabins. Safety's top-notch here, and there's even a quirky touch. While the cars are big, the Queen wasn't. That's why they have doors tall enough for Her Majesty to stand before stepping out. These doors are specially designed so that the Queen can be seen from all angles by those passing by as she glides along the road. Of course, the Bentley State Limousine wasn't the only car in her collection, but it's definitely the crown jewel in her garage. It's a unique blend of regal elegance, cutting-edge security, and thoughtful design, ensuring Her Majesty rides in style and safety. Number 11. Chancellor Olaf Mercedes Maybach S680 Guard Olaf Scholz, Germany's new chancellor, takes things up a notch with his Mercedes 680 Guard. This jet-black German limousine might seem like your standard luxury ride, but it's been souped up to the max, weighing a hefty 4.6 tons, largely due to the whopping 2.5 tons of body armor, ensuring top-notch security for everyone on board. The level of protection this car offers is no joke. Its windshield alone weighs over 250 pounds. Constructed with the highest grade of VR10 materials, this car is a fortress on wheels. It's designed to withstand serious assaults, including attacks from assault rifles and even explosives. Plus, it's equipped with countermeasures against smoke attacks, and if need be, it can keep going even with flat tires. This car is a highly customized vehicle fit for the most important person in Germany. Under the hood, this beast boasts a 6-liter V12 engine, packing a powerful punch of 600 horsepower paired with a smooth 9-speed automatic transmission. And it's the first of its kind to sport a 4-matic all-wheel drive. Despite its weight and size, this luxury limo doesn't compromise on speed or maneuverability. Now, the civilian version of the Mercedes 680 Guard comes with a price tag of around $650,000. But as for Schultz's custom job, the public isn't privy to its cost. It's fascinating how these high-security vehicles evolve to cater specifically to the safety needs of world leaders. The advancements in technology not only ensure top-tier protection, but also integrate performance and agility, proving that even amidst all that armor and weight, a vehicle like the Mercedes 680 Guard can remain swift and efficient for the Chancellor's needs. Number 10. Vladimir Putin's Auris Senate. Vladimir Putin's motorcade might not have as many vehicles as some others, but it's undeniably impressive and pricey. The centerpiece of this convoy is Putin's custom-made ride, the Auris Senate. 
This exceptional limousine was meticulously crafted specifically for the Russian president by engineering teams from Porsche and the Central Scientific Research Automobile and Automotive Engines Institute, also known as NAMI. The Aris Senate is a behemoth, weighing a massive six tons and stretching a whopping 23 feet in length. It's a spacious beast, providing ample room not just for Putin, but also for his entourage, including friends, colleagues, personal bodyguards, and members of the Russian Secret Service. The level of security packed into this vehicle remains a closely guarded secret by the Russian government, adding an air of mystique around Putin's travels. Powered by a formidable 4.4-liter V8 engine, the Aris Senate isn't just about luxury, it's a versatile machine. It's designed to handle off-road terrain if necessary, showcasing its adaptability despite its opulence. The cost of this presidential chariot is a staggering $10 million. That's a hefty price tag for a vehicle, even one as remarkable as this. While the Aurus Senate is the star of the show, Putin's motorcade also includes three Mercedes G-Classes. These luxury SUVs are built for versatility, capable of navigating various terrains with a top speed of 137 miles per hour. Each of these Mercedes vehicles comes with a price tag exceeding $140,000, adding substantial value to Putin's entourage. To manage the roads and crowds, the motorcade boasts a police detail comprising just six motorcycles. These motorcycles play a crucial role in clearing roads and ensuring crowd control during Putin's movements. Though not the most extravagant convoy globally, Putin's motorcade certainly doesn't lack in sophistication or capability. The combination of the Oris Senate, the robust Mercedes G-Classes, and the efficient police detail ensures that whether on city streets or rugged terrain, Putin's convoy is more than ready for its moment. Number 9. Emperor Naruhito's Toyota Century Royal Japan is no stranger to top-notch automobiles. From Mazda to Acura to Toyota, the country churns out some of the finest models worldwide. But even amidst this excellence, the Japanese emperor manages to make a statement with his ride. For years, the emperor and empress of Japan have traveled in a specially crafted version of the remarkable Toyota Century sedan, known as the Century Royal. These cars boast some of the most luxurious features in the automotive world and exude a regal aura that befits royalty. Emperor Naruhito is welcomed by granite entry steps before settling into the plush wool upholstery of the car, glancing up at the delicate rice paper headliner. And a fascinating fact is there isn't just one Century Royal. There are multiple versions, each serving a specific purpose for various occasions. Among them, the standout model is the convertible used during Naruhito's 2019 coronation. Every iteration of the Century Royal is shrouded in secrecy when it comes to its defensive features. Many details about its defensive countermeasures remain undisclosed to the public. However, given the Emperor's pivotal role in Japan, you can bet that these vehicles are fortified to be the safest cars in the country. Under the hood, these models pack a lot of power with a big V8 engine, but they also come equipped with a hybrid system. This touch of eco-friendliness helps make these impressive cars a bit more environmentally conscious, aligning with modern trends towards sustainability. The Century Royal stands as a symbol of sophistication and security, showcasing Japan's commitment to crafting cars that not only offer luxury, but also prioritize safety and environmental consciousness. These vehicles underscore the fusion of technology, elegance, and discretion, catering to the needs and significance of the imperial family in Japan. Number 8. Kim Jong-un's Mercedes-Benz S600 In the realm of intriguing motorcades, North Korea's Kim Jong-un takes the crown. The elite guard keeping pace by running alongside the Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman guard at all times is a sight to behold. When Kim moves between public appearances and press conferences, this majestic Mercedes is his go-to choice. And it's probably the fanciest car in the entire country. Kim's penchant for appearances shines through his choice of wheels. Under the hood, this beast is powered by a 500-horsepower twin-turbocharged 5.5-liter V12 engine. But here's the shocker. The car is an absolute titan, stretching about 21 feet long 
and weighing a whopping 5.5 tons. That's thanks to its full-fledged armored protection system. These are the integrated steel panels within the body and overlapping shields in the critical zones. Even the floors are armored to shield Kim from bomb blasts. And the windows are ultra-thick laminated glass coated with polycarbonate on the inside, ensuring they don't shatter easily. Mercedes proudly states that their Pullman Guard is certified at Resistance Class VR9 and blast-proof to meet the stringent ERV 2010 standards. Amidst all this toughness, it's kind of stunning on the inside. There are reclining captain's chairs and a rear cabin fitted with rearward-facing jump seats, boosting its capacity. The S600 Pullman Guard is listed for over $1.5 million in Germany. But, given its presidential upgrades and the added layers of security, you can only imagine the hefty price Kim's version would command. Number 7. Theresa May's Jaguar XJ Sentinel Former British Prime Minister Theresa May might not have splurged on an exorbitant convoy, but she definitely didn't compromise on quality. Her choice was a Jaguar XJ Sentinel, a vehicle specially designed to cater to her needs, ensuring top-notch protection and style without breaking the bank. This Jaguar isn't your everyday luxury car you find in the local showroom. It's a highly customized version, reinforced with Kevlar backing and blast protection, tailored specifically for Theresa May. Despite the added weight from the bulletproof materials, the car doesn't lose its agility. It's capable of hitting speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour, ensuring a secure yet speedy escape if ever the need arose. Imagine it more as a sleek, fortified tank ready to whisk away a VIP rather than just a regular head of state. Costing around $310,000, this Sentinel was just the centerpiece of May's motorcade. Following her were three Range Rover Sports, collectively valued at about $225,000. These Range Rovers not only transported her colleagues and staff, but also accommodated ample security. Known for their British heritage, these cars embody a blend of speed, elegance, and functionality, perfectly complementing May's entourage. Behind the Range Rovers, four 2016 BMW R1000 200 RTP motorcycles formed part of the convoy. These BMWs, valued at roughly $60,000 in total, were piloted by the police, serving as advance scouts and ensuring smooth passage for the Prime Minister by clearing the roads ahead and managing crowds. May's convoy might not have been the most extravagant, but it was a stellar example of balance. It showcased that safety and luxury could go hand in hand without overly burdening taxpayers. With a combination of carefully selected vehicles tailored for security and practicality, the former Prime Minister's convoy demonstrated that wise use of public funds could still ensure safety and comfort without compromising on quality. Number 6. Narendra Modi's Mercedes S650 Guard Once upon a time, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi cruised in a Range Rover Vogue and a Toyota Land Cruiser. But now, he's upgraded his wheels to a Mercedes Maybach S650 Guard. This luxurious ride joined Modi's convoy in December 2021, officially becoming the Indian Prime Minister's designated security vehicle. This vehicle isn't your average fancy car. The presidential model of the Mercedes Maybach S650 Guard raises the bar when it comes to safety. We're talking VR10 ballistic protection, the top-notch security grade for a civilian vehicle. The body and glass housing can endure an incredible 15 kilograms of TNT explosives from just six feet away. That's not all. They can also withstand fire from military rifles. Even the doors are heavy duty, so much so that they need an electric motor to swing open and shut. Under the hood, this beast boasts a six liter V12 engine, churning out a whopping 650 horsepower, and the fuel tank is completely self-sealing, adding an extra layer of security. But there's more. Modi can rely on an internal emergency fresh air system that keeps the interior safe from gas and chemical attacks. Talk about safety measures that spare no expense. Now, when it comes to the price tag, it's a bit of a mystery, shrouded in secrecy. However, rumors suggest that the S650 Guard cost the Indian government well over $1.6 million. That's a substantial leap from his previous, less thrilling rides. This upgrade to the Mercedes Maybach S650 Guard clearly isn't just a fancy switch in wheels for Modi. 
it's a serious statement about prioritizing his safety and security. Before we continue, let's have our subscribers pick for today. We have already discussed the Beast, but there is a newer iteration of this remarkable vehicle. Its latest design follows in the footsteps of the one used by President Barack Obama in 2009. It is a creation of General Motors and prominently bears the Cadillac emblem. This new rendition showcases a more contemporary design and is loaded with cutting-edge technology. Cloaked in secrecy, this beast maintains the heavily armored persona of its predecessor. While it might outwardly resemble an elongated CT6 or XTS sedan, it's actually crafted on the robust chassis of a GMC Top Kick truck platform. The inside secrets of this U.S. President's motorcade remain undisclosed, but considering its massive build, you can bet it boasts a robust powertrain under the hood. Reports, however, suggest it tips the scales at a staggering 15,000 pounds or more. Despite its attempt to carry a somewhat regular sedan appearance, in reality, it's larger than most full-size trucks or SUVs on the road today. So, what do you think changed in this latest modification of the Beast? Let's hear your opinion in the comment section below. Number 5. President Emmanuel Macron's DS7 Crossback French President Emmanuel Macron's ride is a game-changer, as he's the first leader in France to roll in the DS7 Crossback as his official set of wheels. While many other global leaders cruise around in their stretched limousines, Macron opts for a different style. He prefers being chauffeured around in an SUV. However, this isn't your regular SUV. It's the cream of the crop. What makes the DS7 Crossback so special is that, for starters, it's not just longer than its civilian counterpart, it's also completely bulletproof. Also, since Macron is all about environmental advocacy, this 4x4 vehicle is environmentally conscious. It's equipped with a high-powered plug-in hybrid powertrain, sporting two electric motors and a 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine that delivers a cool 300 horsepower. So, while it might not break speed records, it's definitely one of the most eco-friendly presidential rides out there. Macron is leading by example, putting his environmental beliefs into action. The DS7 Crossback made its debut in November 2021 as one of the newer additions to the fleet of presidential vehicles. The civilian version of this car was priced at a modest $74,000, but let's be real. Macron's personalized version likely comes with a significantly heftier price tag. The upgrades, security features, and tailored amenities for the French president surely escalate the overall cost. It's fascinating to see how Macron's choice of vehicle aligns with his values. By opting for a hybrid SUV, he not only rides in style, but also embodies his commitment to sustainability. The DS7 Crossback sets a new standard for presidential rides, proving that luxury and eco-friendliness can go hand in hand. Number 4. Sultan of Brunei's Rolls Royce Silver Spur II. The Sultan of Brunei isn't just known for his wealth, but also for his mind-boggling collection of cars worth a staggering $5 billion. Among his impressive fleet are around 380 Bentleys and a whopping 600 Rolls Royces. Many of these luxury rides boast lavish embellishments like diamond accents or gold plating, making them truly one of a kind. But among his Rolls Royces, the Silver Spur stands out as the Sultan's flashiest choice. Rolls-Royce produced the Silver Spur between 1989 and 1993. But when it came to his wedding day, the Sultan ordered a bespoke version. He didn't just ask for a stretch limousine. He wanted it coated in 24 karat gold. The Sultan acquired this extravagant car in 1996, and despite its ornate detailing and gold plating, it's not exactly his go-to for high-speed cruises. It's more of a showpiece, designed to dazzle at a leisurely pace. You see, the Sultan has a need for speed, and this Rolls-Royce Silver Spur is more about the spectacle than the speedometer. It only showcases opulence as it glides along the streets, captivating onlookers with its sheer grandeur. There was a time when the Sultan of Brunei held the title of the richest person globally, which explains how he could afford this automotive marvel valued at a staggering $14 million. The car is a piece of history, a symbol of lavishness crafted for grand occasions, ensuring the Sultan's reputation for automotive extravagance remains unmatched. 
Number 3. Xi Jinping's Hongqi L5 Xi Jinping's Hongqi L5 stands out as the epitome of luxury in Chinese automobiles. In his motorcade, there are a total of five of these extravagant vehicles, collectively amounting to approximately $4 million. These cars hold the top spot as the most expensive in the country. The Hongqi L5 is no ordinary ride. It's equipped with a robust 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine, generating an impressive 380 horsepower, mated with an 8-speed automatic transmission. While Xi Jinping might not cruise in a personally customized automobile like some other global leaders, his convoy still represents a significant investment. His motorcade, designed to ensure his safety during major events and meetings with other world leaders, is led by the state police. They spearhead the procession with a fleet of motorcycles, cars, and vans, their sirens illuminating the streets as a flurry of police vehicles passes by. Amidst the unmarked black cars, one proudly hoists the five-star red flag, the national flag of the People's Republic of China. The police presence is notable, riding on their Haoju GW250 motorcycles. Each of these motorcycles carries a price tag of around $14,000. Alongside these flashy bikes, there are dozens of less conspicuous cars and vans within the convoy. These vehicles cater to a security detail and cabinet members, and there's even an ambulance on standby, just in case. It's intriguing to see the meticulous planning and resources dedicated to ensuring the safety and efficiency of a head of state's travels. The grandeur and sophistication of Xi Jinping's convoy, with its fleet of luxury cars, and the precision of its security apparatus illustrate the level of attention and investment poured into the transportation needs of a world leader like him. Number 2. Angela Merkel's Armoire's Audi A8 LW12 Security Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel might not roll in the most extravagant car, but her choice speaks volumes about the country's automotive prowess. She's escorted in her convoy in an Audi A8, a vehicle that's not just budget-friendly, but also oozes sophistication and symbolizes the strides made in German automobile engineering. The Audi A8, valued at around $125,000, shows its strength with its covert security features. While most of these remain under wraps, one that's publicly known is its state-of-the-art bulletproof glass. Interestingly, from the inside, it's nearly undetectable, ensuring Merkel's safety without compromising style. This car represents the perfect blend of security and elegance. But hold on, Merkel's convoy isn't just about the A8. There's also the BMW 5 Series. With a price tag of approximately $40,000, it might not be as pricey, but it sure catches the eye amidst the lineup. Alongside these cars, Merkel's entourage consists of three Mercedes V-Class vehicles, totaling over $150,000. These V-Class models accommodate up to seven individuals, offering ample space for her staff and security team. Plus, they're environmentally conscious, designed to reduce their carbon footprint. What's remarkable here is the strategic mix of vehicles in Merkel's convoy. While the Audi A8 ensures her safety and style, the BMW 5 Series adds a touch of distinction, and the Mercedes V-Class vehicles serve as reliable workhorses for her entourage. Moreover, the emphasis on eco-friendliness with the V-Class models aligns with modern automotive trends, highlighting Germany's commitment to sustainability even in official transport choices. The Chancellor's convoy shows that luxury and security need not always come with an exorbitant price tag. Instead, it's about a thoughtful curation of vehicles that offer functionality, safety, and a touch of elegance all while embracing technological advancements and environmental consciousness. Number 1. Scott Morrison's BMW 7 Series Former Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison made a statement in his sleek white BMW 7 Series sedan, sporting the iconic Aussie flag on its nose wherever you went. While the exact details of the car's features remained under wraps even after Morrison left office, most reports hint that it could rival high-security certified vehicles under levels VR4, VR6, and VR9. This BMW 7 Series sedan wasn't just a fancy ride. It has armor plates that are a whopping 10 centimeters thick and windows made of 6 centimeters thick polycarbonate. That's the kind of armor that shields occupants from gas, chemical, and rifle attacks, even grenade strikes. 
Also, even if someone were to puncture the tires, this BMW beast can still zoom safely at a top speed of 50 miles per hour. This vehicle is very powerful with a 6-liter twin-turbo V12 engine, delivering a staggering 560 horsepower. And despite weighing over 4 tons, it can sprint from 0 to 60 in just 6 seconds. But it gets even more interesting. This presidential level vehicle is also equipped with emergency oxygen support, a self sealing fuel tank, and even onboard firefighting capabilities. And BMW goes the extra mile by fitting the windscreen with explosives. In case of an emergency, these explosives blast out, paving the way for a swift escape. The BMW 7 Series that Morrison rode in was a testament to cutting edge security and innovation. The combination of state-of-the-art security features and powerful engineering showcased Australia's commitment to ensuring the safety of its top leaders. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.